found these outside on the ground. Luckily they are wrapped pretty good and didn't get too wet. I guess I dropped them when I got out of the car or something after getting them out. So I just got a little button breakout. And a little uh, LED array breakout. This is good for prototyping when you want to just have some inputs. You want to do a breadboard, you want to have inputs, and you do an uh, interface, and you want to have status lights of some sort. And you can put this on all your IOs to monitor stuff, make sure stuff's working. So, yeah. Uh, I lost all the video footage for this, so here we go. I got a package here. This took over two months to get. Everything I ordered from this guy's store was missing. It was all came in one package. Finally. I got some seeds. I don't remember what these were for. Blood drop rose. I thought I'd order some seeds and see what uh see what I got. Interesting. That might be why customs uh, stopped it. I don't know. Wish they didn't slip pack them all together. Alright, so this is Really, this plastic sticks to this plastic. I bought some plastic sheet. I thought it'd be cool to get these plastic sheets. I didn't realize it would be just garbage. And that, that this would melt to it. I thought this would be cool for something. I don't know what this is. It looks like x-ray film. Almost. It stinks. Not sure what that was. This is a fire cloth. I think it's um, fiber, glass fiber reinforced paper um, blanket. Very delicate. It probably gets all over you. I don't know. Uh, this is uh, clear tape. You can see it's got a like a gel clear gel stickiness. It's real thick. I thought that was kind of interesting. Uh, I have very thin double stick tape, but nothing like um, nothing like this. This is like a clear plastic adhesive. Very interesting. I'll pull these off and see what it looks like. This is something I've never seen before, so I ordered it. I gotta get new razor blades. This is fucking ridiculous. Just yeah. it's useless. This is a graphite sheet. I don't know what it's. It smells really bad. I don't know what it's used for. 
but it's a sheet of graphite. Very interesting. Not sure what you use that for, what it's used for. But it seemed exotic, so I got it. <laughs> so it doesn't get ruined. All right, let's see. Maybe that doesn't come off. Is that part of the tape? I wouldn't think so. I don't know how you're supposed to get the sticker off without peeling the... Very interesting. I don't really know what. This kind of smells like super glue a little bit. Yeah, I don't know. It's weird. I don't know what kind of properties. It's not super sticky. It won't stay on there. I mean, you can see how easily it's loses its stick. So, anybody knows what this is for? It's very strange. Well, I got some stuff. Unfortunately, I didn't record. Got this uh, small blower, five volts. Pretty cute, nice and small. I got this really cheap thermocouple, not thermocouple, uh, thermistor relay, temperature switch. But uh, it was very cheap when you get a nice thermistor and probably a comparator a relay go for switching on something if threshold gets goes over uh, bought some ceramic caps for bypass uh, for breadboarding and stuff like that and modifying stuff that has problems got these resistor arrays 
just for you know when you need a bunch of pull-ups on a board or something like that or a resistor ladder for uh, digital to analog convert uh, analog to digital converters uh, another power switch this one's white you know, these little five-way joystick toggle joysticks have two of those this is a LCD pitch breakout it's got a um, 1.1 millimeter, 0 0.9, 0 0.7, 0 0.5. And on the back, it's got 1.2, 1, 1, 1.8, and 0.6. This would be good for breaking out any kind of what do they call it, FPC, any kind of LCD ribbon cable, flat flex cable breakout. It'd be good to have in your your kit. Uh, got another oil sight. Uh, this glass is just as bad as the other one. Dirty. Distorted. I bought some more of these 805 and 603 breakouts to dip packages. Just because I keep using them. Uh, two pack of aluminum heat sinks. These would be good size for a bunch of different things. These are threaded nut rivets. They're threaded. I think you put them in a hole and you thread a, a tool through there and it crushes it right here and it crimps it on there. And then you have a threaded, nice clean threaded hole. Uh, it's a thermal switch. I think this one's normally open. This is 55 centigrade, uh, 5 amp. So you can just turn things on or off depending on what which one you got. I got these cool little LCDs. This is a 1.8 inch SPI TFT. This one's got castellated edges so you can just kind of put it on your board uh, and not have to have through hole. Although you can use a header here. This side's just uh, for secure for securing it. It's a real cute module, I like it. You designed a board, you want to put an interface on it. You just uh, surface mount that right on there. Be real nice. And, uh, oh, a bunch of styrofoam balls. This is so I can do f a f a pneumatic flow meter and check the vacuum that's, you know, need something light. I should be able to use one of these to make a little flow meter. And that's it for now. Till next time.